What's up everyone and welcome to my instant influencer series. Let's just hop right into it. If this is your first time here, this is kind of a unregular video. This is a new thing that we're doing. Normally we upload every Wednesday, so feel free to come back and check me out on Wednesday. If this is your first time here, go back and watch all the other videos. This is something new that we're doing, so if this is your first time here, uh, welcome, but uh, sorry? I don't know. Question mark? I don't know. While you're at it, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're gonna love it. While you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I or we upload a brand new video. So why are we all here, guys? We're here for Jamie Charlie. We are here for James Charles. So Instant Influencer came out on Friday, first episode, Friday, April 24th. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It was very very well done. I like to first start off this video by saying great job James Charles, great job to all six contestants, great job YouTube Originals for putting it all together. Everyone who had a part in this instant influencer show, great. I could not have asked for a better outcome of this first episode. I like the, the, the pacing of the show, the flow, the creativity, the concept of the first couple of challenges. It's just a, it's a re really well-crafted show. All the things that you love about reality competition shows, it was there. But it wasn't a copycat because there was a lot of elements that was just very unique to this show. So it's, I, I, were the challenges okay so they started out with the compact challenge right what did you guys think about that first of all cute name compact because small like and then makeup but like cute like clever like right i think that everyone did a great job on on all of the challenges and i agree with who won the challenges everyone brought something very unique and different to the table and right off the bat james charles kind of took me aback because when he started to <laughs> to uh, go over each artist's look and critique them, I wasn't expecting such a, a critique right off the bat. He wasn't mean, he wasn't rude, and for those of you who haven't seen it. Also, this is some spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, you plan on seeing it. Maybe go watch it and then come back, or maybe you want to watch this to see what you think and then go or whatever. But no, James just kind of caught me off guard with, with the just upfront blatant critique and I, I love that and he wasn't like I said he wasn't rude one note that I would love to give you is that the mountain story and the cherry blossom story are both beautiful but they're not very cohesive together so I would love to see how you could connect those in the future the one note that I would love to give you is that your story about mother nature is beautiful but it has nothing to do with you as a person I wanted to see your personal journey and how that connects to you more as an artist the one note that I do want to give however is that this look and the mask obviously it's covering your face and you had to do the full reveal I really want to get to know indigo for who you truly are without anything hiding or getting in the way. The one note that I have for you was that your explanation of the look was also a little bit of a beautiful mess. <laughs> one note that I would love to give is that this look in comparison to the others is a little bit more simplistic. I would love to see how creative you can truly be. The one note that I have for you is that because of the look, you're missing the brows and kind of the eyes and the lips. I would have loved to see this was a lash, so not all those elements were missing. Thanks. But he was very blatantly honest, and I think that all the advice that he gave everyone, I think that it was spot on. It wasn't it wasn't harsh for the sake of being harsh, but it was very blunt, and it kind of just, I was like, oh, okay. He just kind of took me aback a little bit. But I, I love that, and it's, it's very James. It wasn't fake. It was very, yes. And speaking of critique, in the main challenge, he's talking to, to Kaylin, by the way, congratulations, Kaylin, for winning the first main challenge. Bravo. Definitely a great commercial. Well, when, he, when James looks at her and he says, "You're not very confident," and then and then just her, just her face, just Kaylin's face, was like, and I'm sure that was probably like editing. Did she actually make that face right when he said it? Before I even get anything, this I noticed this is a common theme with you. You are not very confident. But I think that it was great for her to to hear that. And 
it's hard to tell a person who you think is not very confident to tell them that they're not confident because you feel like is it going to take you more of their confidence away but i think that it was a wake-up call i mean we're all they're all adults this isn't like a children's kids baking show or whatever so but she needed to hear it but if i could just side by her and i'm going to be kind of all over the place this is just my quick little thoughts about the show this is what this is going to be okay just us ranting if you have any opinion on the things that i'm saying if you agree if you don't agree come find me on my twitter leave a comment in the section down below let's chat let's have a one-on-one -on -one. but no but what i was saying i wanted to sidebar with kaylin I know I had some I had some picks from go back and watch my video on Wednesday and I picked top three of who I thought and I who's like all oh, the top and I still think that those three that I pick are at the top and if you want to know who they are go back and watch Wednesday's video but Kaylin did you win I think you won I think she won the whole thing now obviously I might change it, my mind again this is only episode one. But I think she won. Here's why. Looking at the promo pictures of everyone, there is a particular promo picture. I'll probably put it up over here. Her picture is the biggest one. May just be a coincidence. But also, I've been observing their social media. And, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. And not that Kayla, Miss Kaylin has said anything that would allude to her winning. But I'm looking at just kind of how they've been acting on social media. I'm looking at the promos. I'm looking at their demeanor in the confessionals. I don't know when these confessionals were filmed. Kaylin, did you win? I know you can't I know you can't tell me, but you know, wink wink, right, girl? So anyways. Who else do I think really stood out this week? Benny just took me. He just took me. He has that that it factor. He has something. I mean, Paris Hilton even. Pause. Paris Hilton. Hello. I mean, that's all I need to say. It's Paris. Look, look at just. You guys are hot too. <laughs> we don't even need to discuss Miss Paris. Okay, but she was very. Okay, she was banking on it. And, oh, and then the dog. Okay, it was great. It was everything. Benny just has that charisma, he has that charm, he has that vulnerability, he has the look, he has everything that I think that one needs to be a top of all time. So even if he doesn't go far with this show, I definitely think we're going to be seeing Benny around. There was no one out of the six so far that I was just like, hmm. Miss Brittany was the one voted to go home, and it, it was rough, you know. But Miss Brittany, if you if you're watching, you did great. Somebody had to be the first one to go home, but look how far you made it out of the thousands and thousands of people who even wanted to be in that spot. So I think that we're still gonna hear and see more from Miss Brittany. I hope that this is a learning experience from her. And I hope that we get to see everyone as they get eliminated out. I hope that this is not a first and last time that we're going to see any of these six artists. Miss Brittany, I think just, I think she just kind of got in her own way with this challenge. That challenge was very like, it, I was like, they're going to do what? They're going to make a video. I was in a, in a makeup video at that. So this challenge called for a lot of skills and a lot of different areas in a very uh, short amount of time. I think she just kind of got in her own way. Miss Ashley did great work. She uh, Ashley was the winner of the compact challenge. She did a great, very abstract makeup look, which I, I love that she got to pick out her product first, which was for her advantage in the main challenge. And Miss Ashley was very professional with the delivery of her commercial. She did a great job, but I definitely agree with James as far as what he was saying. If you're going to say something, the viewers need to believe it. There was a moment where Miss Ashley said that in her video, oh, I'm bursting with excitement, but her expression and her demeanor didn't quite translate that. In the beginning of the video, you started off by saying, I am bursting with excitement, and your face was like very like, 
I am bursting with excitement. <laughs> I'm gonna say you're bursting with excitement. Like, we need to see excitement. So you need to make sure that the followers believe what you're saying. And at the same time, Paris made a, a great point of, that's just kind of Ash's personality. She's not gonna be like this overly bursting with energy. Probably. Person, that's not her. And there's nothing wrong with that because there's definitely an audience for that. Not everybody wants this, yay, yippee kind of like influencer. you need somebody who's maybe a little more chill maybe a little more um i don't want to say sophisticated but she's definitely everybody just kind of speaks to a different demographic but yeah definitely if you're going to say i'm bursting with energy maybe smile i don't i don't know um i'm sensing a little bit you know there's a fine line between being very confident and being cocky and I think may, hopefully with this ep first episode has has humbled Miss Ashley a little bit. I know that you know you want to come in and come like, come on strong and be, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, just make sure that that doesn't turn into a wall that you're putting up. There might be a wall that you're putting up, and we're not really able to see you, Miss Ashley. I still think that you are the fan favorite as of right now. But like I said, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the way James handled the elimination. First of all, very creative. I love that it wasn't the traditional everybody stand up in front of the panel and everybody's standing there looking all silly and goofy. You know, the same thing that we've seen on pretty much every competition show that has ever existed. I like that it was kind of like this Zoom call, video chat, YouTube set up everyone's in a separate room and then i really especially like that james talked to Brittany and told her one-on-one -on -one that we've decided to not keep you on the show you've been eliminated and then he kind of gave her this kind of tyra banks pep talk moment and it felt more personable it wasn't as harsh i mean we know everyone's gonna someone's gonna be eliminated every week but it's really it's just it's always heartbreaking and I, I just i like the way that he did it and it was very creative and it was very touching and i just i i enjoyed it um anyways overall i give the show just tens and stars and hugs and it was really good it was very creative i can't wait to see who else is going to be on there i think bretman rock is going to be a judge not sure when but i think he's going to be on the show i don't know who's going to be the judge next week i'm not sure what the challenges are going to be for that to be a challenge one making a promo video in three hours i yeah i cannot imagine anyways I think this is going to be a four-part series. If you haven't seen episode one, go ahead and watch it on James Charles' YouTube channel. It is called Instant Influencer.